Good morning, everybody. Relic right here. Um, got us an old house foundation. We got old foundation stones here. A lot of stuff in the ground. Old house place in middle Georgia. Got the legend. Got the root slayer. Got Bob attached to it. He's our little counter. He's going to document our journey as we go along. Today, tomorrow, next week, next year. Um, recovering artifacts together. Relic rat. Come along. I think we got multiple targets. Don't like that one. I like that one a lot. See what we got. Hole number, hole number four on the day. First of May. It feels like first of April or February. Ah, that is interesting. Piece of brass is threaded. Almost looks like a pipe bowl. Surely it's not. I don't know. I've seen that before. Any ideas, let us know. Very specific. Threaded on one end. Copper. Type of pipe bowl. What that was? Iron everywhere in the ground here. Tons of good signals. A lot of non ferret stuff along with the nails. Hole number five. Oh, that'd be a rock, a root, something. Mm. Yeah, I think we're gonna get that plug out of the ground. Let's go in after. in there. Ah. ring a -ling. Junk. Let me cover the holes up. Possibly big iron, probably big iron, but might be better than that. Hole number seven, let's see what we got. Darn roots. May have to move on around to the side of the house. I feel like we're in the barn area. You need nothing but big iron with a buddy the other day though he dug up a uh, half of a pair of ice tongs thought that was pretty cool if you got to dig big irons might as well be digging out ice tongs what have we some sort of blade Ugh. ah Come out of there. This is gonna be cool. A 
know what it is because I can feel it. Got a root growing through it. Ugh. There you go. Neat old hole. Oh. <sighs> Reliving history, one relic at a time. Old Middle Georgia farmhouse. Somebody had this hoe 120 years ago. Planting a garden right here. Or it was hanging in the hanging in the old barn when it burned down. It ended up in the ground. Makes you wonder if we didn't get it out, who would? Best signal of the day. It'll be another can top. Hole number 13. Oh, darn it. I think I heard it. But how could, I, how could something I'm hearing be a 41? That might make any sense. A non ferrous 41. Come out of the ground, dude. Ugh. All right. At some point, we're going to make sure to reach the wind. A little signal right there now. The old 3941 on the legend is often something good. Ha! Ah. I don't know. Not terrible. Lipstick case. Square on the end. It has a familiar look to it. So did they lose it one day when they were applying lipstick and didn't get to go out for the night? Or did they use up all the lipstick and throw it away? They probably threw it away. Hey, I think it's got a name on the bottom. If we get to the tailgate in a little while, we may look that up. same signal as lipstick case which was number 13 by the way so 13 wasn't unlucky yeah, so that did something halfway interesting ah my pinpointer fell okay stay down there i'll need you in a second actually i'll need you down there sir i mean we might have to go somewhere there's a few less roots Hole number 14, what you got for us? Get much tired on sit on that log while I use this pinpointer. You can tell. Definitely a big root right there. Or a piece of pipe. It might just be that the root is a piece of pipe. We're gonna go in beside it, see what we find. Come out. Come out, you heathen. Ah, let's try it again. Piece of junk. I think it's the old inside race to a bearing. So the ball bearings went right there, and there was an outer race. A big, big old bearing. We're going to add that to our. We got us a pile of stuff over here. Coffee pot. Old hoe. We're going to make us a pile there. We'll get it on the way back to the truck.
ground is full of stuff. I had a feeling we we're in the old barn site. Oh! Old number 16. Ah. That might be the barn door. Might not. Might be the barn door. See what we got. Ah, metal detectors working overtime. Coca-Cola bottle. Not know it detect that. Maybe it's full of coins, or maybe that's not the target. I'm kidding. There it is. There's a nail. Not a nail. Another nail. Little teeny piece of grass. Lead off of a mason jar. I think my target's still in there. Huh, let me get back with you in just a second. Yep, yep, yep. Is it way over there? I think it is. Come out of there. A lot of trash in there. If there is a good target, I think it's covered up in nails. Can, can, can. Well, being that this was hole number 16, we might pretend like it didn't happen. Although, Coke bottle's cool. Not old, but cool. Stuff in the ground everywhere. Beautiful dime signal, isn't it? Too bouncy though. I don't know, you never know. Let's see what we got right here in the front, in the front yard. Fill in the hole. Pretty decent little signal. Bouncing around some. Old number 23. Old number 23. This is a pull tab holder. It holds, the, it holds the pull tab right there. <laughs> well, not a pitch you can in. It's right here. Uh, I don't know now. Jumpy, jumpy. right here in amongst all the brick. Old chimney's right here in front of us. Let's see what we dig up in hole number 25. Yes. So when we started this journey, 
I often wondered how many holes you dug in a day. This is going to be about, probably got about three hours to dig today. So this is certainly not going to be one of the longest days out there, but it's going to be interesting to see in a long day around a old barn or house site. Be interesting to see just how many holes we do dig in a day. Barely missed it. Because that's it right there. Ah, that's cool. That's pretty dang cool. That is not metal. That is a shoe or a boot. It is a boot. I don't think that's what's beeping. Was absolutely what's beeping. Grommets in the boot. I certainly knew that it wasn't a can. Grommets in the boot at the old chimney stack. Wonder how long ago somebody had that on. I wonder why the leather stayed intact. Not super old for one thing. Cool, fine. I'll come back by and pick that up. More trash probably, but it's got a little depth to it. Let's see what it is. Maybe, maybe, just maybe it's an old horseshoe. I watched somebody dig up a horseshoe the other day on a YouTube video, and the ends were different. So the ends were right side by side like a regular horseshoe, but they were different, and there was a little piece of metal where the two halves had worn into, and they had welded them back together. Yeah, they knew they had something cool. <laughs> and they said they had heard of it before, but still, that's pretty, pretty cool find. Are we out or are we not? Some black dirt. Look good in the garden, wouldn't it? You need a little something, something. feel exactly like a nail and I don't think that's what my target was so let's see ah where's our sunlight heavy piece of brass something with a bunch of deco on it know what the remainder of that is but I would like to have it that's very cool reliving history one relic at a time signals everywhere No idea. It's here in the rock. Ah! Pile of rock. I went right under one. Nice. <clears throat> Let's see what we got. I don't know what this pile of rocks would be. Under the rock, old file. Be cool to repurpose, make a knife blade out of or something. Reliving history, one relic at a time. Still around the old cedar tree. Still impressed, huge. It's 
nickel signal on top of the ground. My guess is if Johnny dropped the nickel right here 50 years ago, it wouldn't be on top of the ground. Let's see what we got. Not a can, although I'm standing on some cans. I think I got it out. Get stabbed by one of these things. Mm. Mm. Cedar, cedar, cedar. Gosh. I may come back and get that, but if I don't, y'all don't hold it against me, okay? But I may come back and get it. I'll put it right there before we don't forget it. Please tell me that wasn't the signal. All right, this is good. Damn. This is big brave. Trying to, trying to pick through all the trash and cans. A 60? Did we have a 60 before? What was that 60 before? Hey, Bob. Number 35 is going to be a 60 coming out of the hole. Let's see what we got. Did we had a 60? What was it? it was something earlier. It moved a little way, a little bit away from the big old cedar tree that I was swore there was gonna be something in. Mm. We have roots. There we go. A plug. <laughs> I don't know what that is. It's strange looking and I don't think it's metallic. Ah, he is metallic. That's cool. There's the wire. No, that was a root. Oh, did I break it? I hope I didn't break it. Looks like an old break. What am I looking at? An old, old cream jar maybe? That's cool. Not only is that cool, that is not the signal. Is this milk glass? I think it's milk glass. Yes, it's milk glass. That's cool. Let's see what was in there with it. The top. There was a nail. What I'm hoping was in there with it. It's ringing up to 60, about four silver dollars. Possible, isn't it? Still trying to be a 60. May have it out of the hole. Let's make sure before I beam back over. A piece of milk glass. I really wish I could Say it wasn't me that broke it, and I don't think it was. I never heard it on my shovel, so. Milk glass, very cool. All right. You were full of gold coins. Now's the time to show me. Old square nail, that's not what's ringing a 60. There you are. Did you cut me? I hope not. Well, that's a bummer. That would be a big old giant can of peaches. Uncle Bob opened and said, "Make me some of these peaches out of this can and throw it out in the yard. These peaches hurt my teeth, but I'm gonna eat them anyway. Isn't that off a John Wayne movie? Peaches hurting teeth. All right, we're gonna come back by and get that. Well, we may have a can. At least it's not on top of the ground. Let's see what it is. 
Number 40. I said 100. I don't know if we can get to 100 or not. We might. I'd like to. Ah, look at that. A strange looking little dude. That rings a bell. I don't know what, why or what from. It's got a, it's got a top on it like a tube, but, but you can't mash that to get stuff out of it. So I don't know. We'll look at that again on the tailgate too. Some kind of purpose and a hole in it. Hmm. Yep, 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 yep. A little, a little too good to be true, but let's see what we got here. Oh, hey, Bob, 42. 42. Yeah. I missed you a little bit, didn't I? Not as in, I missed you because you've been gone a long time. I missed you because I dug in the wrong spot kind of thing. And if I find you, if I find you and there's something really cool, then we'll go back to, I miss you because you've been gone a long time. Because you have been gone a long time. In the ground. What's that? All right, that looks familiar right off the bat. I have seen that before. I don't know what it is. Uh, la, 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 la. I'm thinking, thinking, thinking. I don't know, but we will figure that out because that looks very familiar. What are we looking at? Possibly a, a, some type of curry cone, some type of horse brush, but this, is that just a place to hang it? It's brass, that's all brass right there. Anyway, very cool. We'll clean that up a little bit more. Let you know what, ah. That's curved, I don't know. Clock, cone, brush, anyway, cool find. Nineteen twenty-six. It's not the year. Well, could be the year, but nineteen twenty-six are the numbers on the legend. It could be cool if we find something with a date on it. It's nineteen twenty-six, so, and that that means the legend has learned to read dates as well as <laughs> other stuff. If a shovel could learn to dig without me, it'd be really nice too. Have to send it ahead. Ugh. Big holes. <clears throat> All right, that plug's not coming out. Going in under it. Needless to say, it's still in the hole. <sighs> look, look. What is this? <laughs> it's just growing on you. <sighs> That's a thing. That's a thing a thing thing. Oh my gosh, it's a piece of pipe with roots growing all the way through it. That's cool. Well, piece, ah, look. Pull them off. The piece of pipe's not cool, but the roots growing through it. We're gonna put this over here with our hoe pile. Big old tree was right there. Pretty solid, solid 55, 57 target. Let's see what that is. Just a root, the root, the root. You stupid root. I got briars on me. Briars on me. Oh, that's a, I heard it. You hear it? I hear you. There's a good chance when you hear it like that, saying, get me out of here. There's a good chance it's not a coin. And if it is a coin and it's saying, get me out of here because you're scratching it, it's probably not worth getting out of here.
are you? Ow! I heard it. There you are. Ah, there's something going on in there. Ah. Oh, this is cool. Oh, I broke it. Oh, uh, had a root through it. Big old piece of a clock. Big piece of a mantel clock. Uh, that, right there, is a cool find. Getting close to the end of the day. It's a really good signal, 55, 56. Not all that bouncy can stuff. So I'm gonna see what else is in the hole. That's iron right there. That's the part I broke, but rest of it's brass. Maybe we can find some more of it. Cool old relic. Solid 35, 36. Head stamp, maybe. The cool part about head stamps is a lot of them are 100 years old or older. A lot of them. Some of them are only 60 or 80 years old. A lot of them are way older. You see that vine right there? I don't like that vine. I'm going to get rid of that vine. Hold on, Bob. <clears throat> Speaking of Bob, here you go. <clears throat> Now that vine is gone. The root slayer finally did some slaying instead of getting slayed. So yeah, I thought that was a brick earlier. That is Georgia red clay. Chopped up by a root slayer. It was just like a brick. Probably because that's what they made a lot of them. Yeah, to that. Ugh. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's on the shovel, I'd be mad. But it could have been. Need me one of them fancy pinpointer holder. You wear like a six shooter. I missed it. I didn't miss it. Because I came over here. Jumped over the roots and stuff. Mm. Mm. This felt like it ought to be right there, didn't it? Ah. Huh? Yep. Little horse tack. Be cool if they were all brass, but they're not. They're iron, mostly. That was a good three hours of digging. We're gonna do a quick wrap up. I don't, huh. I don't know that we're going to, uh, I don't know we're gonna get everything cleaned up for you. I do think I have a toothbrush nearby. That's the thing I thought was a brooch. All right, let's, uh, let's empty the pouch for the third time. See what we got. Uh, put the stuff down there. Ah! Can't believe I broke the clock. I love old clock parts. Some sort of handle. There used to be a handle, and you pulled it out and turned it. What was that from? Pulled it out and turned it. That is. Uh, we might get a toothbrush on there. We may. We may run through it all real quick and uh, then maybe get a toothbrush out and do a real quick little wrap up at the end. Hold car door lock, that thing, a couple shotgun shells. As far as I know, that was left in my pouch. Because <laughs> if I'd have dug a nickel, I'd have shown y'all. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. Man, sometimes stuff gets stuck. Oh, and this little dude. Ooh. All right, so real quick, uh, possibly a hammer. 
missing its handle. I'm pretty sure that's a hammer. Uh, old hoe, clock part, horse tack, jewelry, jewelry. What's that say on that? Oh, I've seen that. I've seen that. That's not letters. That's a that's insignia. Monogram. That's a monogram. That's a uh, anyway. But that little brooch PC piece of stuff. Some type of lock hook. I have seen this before. I'll clean that up one day and figure out what it is. That Some sort of tube thingy. That's most of it. Old file. We got a file drawer. We put all those in them in the file drawer. Piece of pipe. <laughs> Piece of pipe that a root about the size. We didn't have to clean it out because the root cleaned out. Oh, big thick milk glass. That was a something something. Probably not the bottom off that. I don't know what this would have been. Not a not a glass guy. Coffee pot lid. Sorry, Chuck. Coffee, oh, pot. coffee pot lid. You can see the strainer. Strainer, yep. You can see the holes in it. Filter. So. That's the filter. Yep. All right, we're gonna clean up a couple of things with a toothbrush and then maybe maybe get back with you for one more minute. Got a hoe, hammer, file, um, beaver tail holders. These were made actually to hold uh, pull tabs. Uh, piece of milk glass, another piece of milk glass, stuff, stuff, rings, uh, coffee. Oh, that's a coffee strainer too. We got two coffee strainers. Didn't realize that. Okay, so cool. Two coffee strainers. Um, got some, got a hinge, some type of lock mechanism dug 63 holes in about two and a half hours three hours i think this is a curry cone but i don't know what this is somebody's going to tell us somebody tell us what that is brass i think that's a curry cone anyway uh, three or four little pieces of jewelry type stuff escutcheons i think that's a brooch but you know i think there was a pin there it's very odd shaped and who knows um pipe bowl type thing that I don't think has anything to do with tobacco but anyway some sort of decorative little piece of brass um, very 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 interesting little heavy something that looks like a brooch but shouldn't be I don't know what that is um, seen those initials before we don't have a good enough service out here to figure out what they are so Gracie can you tell Pop Pop what these are in the comments below? 